to Yoga with Cynthia. I'm Cynthia Bialik, and both the host and the producer for this program. Thanks for joining me. Today's program is Yoga on the Ball. So, if you've never tried yoga before and you do have a fitness ball at home, go ahead and bring it in front of the television. Watch today's program for its content. If you're not sure if the fitness level uh, is appropriate for you, but we're going to start just comfortably on the ball, so most of you will be able to participate. The idea of yoga and the ball is to eliminate some of the force of gravity that you encounter in several yoga poses. When you reduce the force of gravity, you also reduce the tension and weight in the joints, Okay, the pressure in the joints. We're going to be moving our shoulders and our hips and our knees in all different directions. We're going to be stretching all of the front muscles and the counter muscles in our yoga poses. The yoga poses will be modified uh, to accommodate the ball, but they will be more accessible to some of you than some of the traditional yoga poses. But with that said, some of these asanas on the ball are a little tricky. They do rely on your balance. If you have very bad balance, I caution you, make sure you're doing it with someone close by or just watch today's show for its content and then decide if it's appropriate for you. Or you may want to work at the routines in a little slower fashion that we're doing today. So we're going to start. We're going to warm up on the ball like we warm up in any of our yoga sessions. We're going to start by moving our hips forward and back on the ball and just releasing any tension that you have in the, little, the low back. So let's keep our hands on our quads, tuck the tailbone, and then push it back. So we're moving the pelvis into a posterior and then an anterior tilt to stretch the low back and then to stretch the base of our abdomen. A little bit of stretch for the hip flexors when we come forward. A little stretch for the glutes as we come back. And now we're going to circle our hips around. Now, our breath in yoga is in and out through the nose, so today's session is no different. Make sure you're still breathing the whole time. Our breath is always on the inhale of the movement, and the exhale of the movement is typically the fold or the twist. So let's do that right now. Deep breath in, reach up. Exhale on the fold, reach down for your toes. Inhale, reach up. Exhale and down to the toes. Then inhale, reach up. Exhale, laterally flex the spine. Inhale, rotate. And exhale, twist. Inhale, reach up. Exhale, laterally stretch the spine to the left. Inhale, roll back and lift the rib cage up. Exhale and twist to the left. Let's do that one more time. Inhale and reach up. Exhale and fold. Inhale, reach up. Exhale and lean to the right. Inhale, roll that shoulder back. Exhale and twist. Inhale, reach up. Exhale and come over to the left. Inhale and rotate that right shoulder back. Exhale and twist. Now bring those arms right by the side of the ball, and we're going to move back and forth once again. Now we're going to start today with a series of twists. So we're going to turn ourselves over to the right side. You're going to anchor yourself into the ball of your left foot, and we're going to position the ball between our legs, okay? So we're going to squeeze that ball and create mula bandha. That's a drawing up to the pubic bone. So you're going to pull up, stay there, balance, and twist all the way around. Then swing back and open that hip into a low lunge, looking to the left. Now we're going to bring those arms down, straighten your right leg, and fold. Lower the head and chest into your right knee. 
And then we're going to twist once again to the back. And come back to center. Bring those feet back to the middle of the ball. And this time, we're going to pull the ball back behind us. Lay the belly down in the ball. And keep your left hand on the floor. And again, we're going to turn to the right. Open that chest all the way up. And this time, before we do that same sequence on the other side, we're going to take that right arm under your left, grab your big toe, and just stretch the back. Now take a moment to settle down a little deeper into the ball. See if you can bring your head down. And come back up. So now we're going to turn our whole body over to the left. So we're going to create that mula bond again. Slide the ball between your thighs. Turn to the left side of your mat. As we create mula bonda, you're going to be up on the ball of your right foot, pushing that right thigh into the ball, pushing the left thigh into the ball. Lift your chest up, twist to the back. Squeeze upward through the pubic bone. Open the chest as much as you can. Then fold forward into that left leg, nose down into the knee. And now turn once again. Open the chest, look up. Breathe deep as you do. And exhale, come around into Virabhadrasana 2. Look straight out to the right. And then come back to center. And this time our right hand is down and we're going to turn to the left side of the mat. Open that chest and look up. And thread the needle. Reach that arm under. Grab your right big toe. And feel the shoulder stretch. Once again, come back down, folding all the way down into the mat. Some of you may be able to bring the head down. You can keep the hips or the belly on the ball, dropping the head down. Now sit back. And this time we're going to bring your feet in. And this is a little balance challenge I hope you enjoy today. You're going to engage Mula Bond again. Draw the pubic bone up. Lift out of the crown of your head. Feel long and strong. Bring your arms straight out from the shoulders to begin. You're going to press down into your left heel. And we're going to start with that right leg out and in. Just extend it out, engage those quads, then bring it back. And we're going to try to push the heel out to really engage those quads and then pull your heel back, engage the hamstring. Stabilize that body the whole time. Push that heel back into the ball each time. Now this time we're going to lift that right leg up and put it on top of the left, still balancing on the ball. Roll the shoulders back, lift your chest up high. Interlace your fingers and pull the arms to your ears. Modified tree pose or virksasana. Stay right here and breathe. Now we're going to incorporate a twist if you feel like you can. We're going to bring that right heel up and you can either twist just like so, or you can grab a hold of that right foot and bring your left arm in the air.
Now if we want to incorporate a fold, release that leg, and we're going to pull back gently so that left leg is straighter, and we're going to reach down to your left leg while stretching, isolating that right hip a little bit more. Don't lock out the left leg. Keep it slightly bent and fold, stretching out your right hip. So it's the glute medius and minimus. And some of you may be able to access the piriformis. Bend that knee once again and take that leg down. All right. We're going to try the same thing on the other side. Arms out to the side. Bear down into your right heel. Lift the arch of that right foot. Keep your shoulders back over your hips and lift that left leg. Now extend it out. Engage those quads. Press your heel into the ball. Engage those hamstrings. Out and in. Out and in. Three more. Really feel that the body is anchored into that right leg. Feel your core. Feel the transverse abdominis muscle fibers firing one more time. This time we're going to take that left leg on top of your right. Modified tree pose, virksasana here. And allow those arms to come up. If you feel you're able, interlace your fingers and draw the arms to your ears. Hold there. Deep breaths in and out through the nose. Now remain there, or you can slide your right heel over to your left hip, or to left heel over to the right hip. And we can twist around like so, or we can reach back and grab your left foot from behind and reach up with your right arm. And let's come back to center. Okay, we can keep that leg on and fold forward to isolate that hip stretch. If you choose, you can slowly come down, hands in front, and fold into the right leg. Now those of you that have a lot of knee issues, bring both legs down. Try both legs out in front and fold. Now come back to center. And we're going to actually come down on our side. So we're going to bring the ball over to our left hip. And we're going to bring the right leg out to the side and do a modified side arm balance. Lots of options for you on this. So you're going to wedge the block or the ball right to your hip, slide your left hand over that left side of the ball, and now we're pushing into the right foot on the ball on the heel of your foot so the arch is not touching, and you're just going to look up at your right hand. So you'll notice if your ball is too far forward, you're going to feel pain in the shoulder. So try to move back. So your hand is directly under your shoulder. Your, me your knee may not be able to touch. So you're reaching there. Now if you want to try a little bit more challenge, you're going to slide your left leg down and then lift the right leg up. Keep lifting that leg using the strength of your outer thighs, those muscles that we just stretched. Lifting that leg up. Look up in the air. And taking it to the next level, you can bring that heel in and grab your big toe and then push that leg up. Lean back into that right hip. As I mentioned, it was a real balance challenge. Lift that heel up and look at your right hand. Deep breaths in and out through the nose. And now release. Let's try the same thing on the other side. All right. 
I hope you're still upright at home. It's easy to fall around, but you know, we have a soft landing here, so if you're willing and able to roll around on the ball until you find your balance, that's part of the fun. Okay, so now we're on the right side. Right hand is over the ball. Your right knee may not touch, depending on how long your arms are and how small or large the ball is. So now we're going to reach up with our left arm. That's your first level. Just open the chest. Keep reaching up with your left arm. Next level, push down on the outside of your right foot and start to lift that left leg up in the air. Flex your left foot. Lift it up as high as you feel comfortable. Really activate the glute medius and minimus. Lifting that left leg up, hold there. And then lastly, we're going to open that hip. We're going to reach for the big toe and then slowly push that leg up. Roll back into your hip and look up in the air. All right, so it's time to flip over on the ball. Let's move the ball forward. And we're going to actually put our belly down on the ball. And bring those hands right underneath the shoulders. Now, we have a pose called bird dog in yoga. And if we were going to do it from the hands and the toes without being on the knees, it would be a little bit more challenging because of the force of gravity. It would be a lot more challenging. That's why we do it on our knees. But a lot of people are bothered by being on their knees for long periods of time. The joints are fairly durable, but if you do the same thing over and over and over, your joints can wear, okay? So here's another alternative, and it's, I think, a very fun alternative. I've enjoyed working on the ball. We're going to start by lifting our right leg and our left hand only. Now first, pull straight out, flex your right foot, reach out with your left arm, and then see if you can raise your right leg and raise your left arm. Lifting up, using the strength of your shoulder and the strength of your glutes. Then replace the hand and replace the foot. Lift that left heel and lift the right arm, and then start to raise it, look forward. Lifting your chest up in the air. And let's give that another try. Left arm, right leg. Breathe and look up. Exhale and down. Left leg, right arm. Lift and look up. And release. Two more. Stretching up, lift the chest, hold this time, really use the strength of your glutes, the strength of your erector spiny muscles in your back. Bear down in your pubic bone, lift your chest up high. And let's go ahead and do that same thing. Other side, left leg, lift your chest, deep breaths, hold there. Engage those glutes. Two more slow breaths. And relax. Now, for those of you that feel a little strain in your back, just round out the back. Let your head drop. Relax your shoulders. And now we're going to come forward and back on the ball and start to use the strength of your transverse abdominis muscle fibers. So we're going to actually start with the ball further back so that our belly can come forward, contract those muscles, hold, and then return to the back edge of your mat. Each time, see if you can get that ball a little higher on your hips so when you come forward, you have more challenge. 
Now, at this time, if you feel you can, you can put your legs on the top of the ball and draw your knees in, contract, and bring the head down into your knees. Deep breath in. Exhale and round the back. Bring the head to the ball and the knees to your chest. And again, breathe deep. Exhale and pull forward. And again, deep breath. Exhale, pull in using the strength of your core. So your rectus abdominis, your transverse abdominis here. Rectus abdominis here. Using hip flexor strength as well. Breathe deep, two more. Exhale in. One more time. Hover. Stay there. And come back up. And walk those hands back. And if you feel like a little challenge, you can balance on the ball. And flip around. All right, so now we're here. Let's slide our feet to the other end of the ball and actually put our back on the ball. So now the spine is going to hug the ball. And we're going to reach over the ball and just let your upper body hang. Let gravity stretch the chest and the shoulders and just feel good wherever you are. Now, if you want to try a little bit more challenging pose and work with a backward bend, you can bring those hands down, walk your feet into the ball, and secure your hands into the mat. Push into your right heel and lift the left leg in the air. Bear down into the right heel as you push up with your left. Pull your elbows in. Come down, push up with your right heel, hold there. Deepen your breaths. And again, left leg in the air. And right. Now, if you're feeling like you want to go to the next level, you can bring both legs in, take them up. Point and flex your feet, or you can bring those knees in and flip over, over the ball. All right. So now we're going to come down into the mat. And it's almost time to say goodbye. So can we do a relaxation on the ball? Certainly. So let's go ahead and find ourselves on the ball. Heels up. And I just want you to gently rock side to side. If you have any issues with your back, just a gentle movement goes a long way to improving your condition. Okay, so even if you didn't join us for the previous uh, asanas and limbering exercises, this should feel good on your back. So I want to take this opportunity to thank you so much for viewing today's show. Namaste. Until next time, enjoy Savasana. To take those feet down, just bring the ball to your side. Press down the back of your head and take deep breaths in and out through the nose. 